<laughs> Jaron, uh, great performance tonight. Speed, power, dynamic punches. Um, give us a statement about how you feel after the win. Uh, I feel great after the win. Uh, I feel my, my power, speed, uh, defense. <laughs> when I do have fun, like I always do. Take some questions. Jamie Porter, BrooklynCrunch.com. Um, Jerron, first off, congratulations. Thank you. Um, solid performance, excellent performance. You knocked down your opponent in the first round twice. Can you see how Walker's being knocked down? Um, he was, I knew he was going to come, so we were just lining him up, uh, trying to keep my range and just set him up for the straight left, right hook. Left hand, right hook, and it was a combination that dropped in the first time, and then the second one. Just keep that pressure on me that now that I got it hurt and get him, try to get him out of here. 25 and 0, 23 KOs, 22 years old. Um, what, what are you looking to do throughout the rest of your, you know, this year, things like that? Uh, most definitely by in the 2020 uh, a world title or beginning of 2021. So try to get a couple of title winners or top contender. Let's, let's get these guys in the ring. You're back and roll. How often would you want to fight this year? Do you want to fight two more times? Or, you know? um, uh, I'm going to go back, rest up with my team. Uh, probably be back in the ring probably about April, first week of April, second week of April, something like that. Okay. In regards to competition, do you think you need to uh, face other different type of fighters? Um, you come, you know, you live, you know, right uh, like I said before, we've been was trying to get these guys in the ring. These top 10 guys, these top 15 guys, they don't want to fight me. So I got to fight who, I, who they put in front of me f for now. And until then, like I said before, I'm going to just keep wanting to keep doing my thing, keep showing the world my talent, and keep getting better, faster, stronger, smarter, defense tighter, and keep winning. Can you also discuss, you know, back and forth, walk around south, walk south, walk around south, can you, you know, explain how, you know, skills you are in those different areas? Uh, <laughs> sometimes I don't even know when I switch. I just... I just keep doing it. And like it's, it's, it's come naturally. I've been doing it all my life. Like in my amateur career, I was doing the same thing, switching back and forth. It depends who I'm fighting. So I fight one way for a certain fighter. Is there a strategy or reason why? No, I just like I, it's just natural. It's just natural. It's automatic. Just the feel. Yeah. However, whoever they put in front of me, it, I might stay with one side more than the other. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it, it's, they keep they keep watching me all day. You gotta get in the ring with me and see what it's like. Go ahead. I have a question for both of us. Um, who would you actually like to have Jerron in, in the ring with this year? This year, you talking about? Yes. Um, anyone in the top ten, top five? I mean, I'm not just calling nobody name out or nothing like that. Because uh, they know he's here and he's here to stay. You know? So anybody from top five, top ten, we want to move move up the rankings. That's how we, you know, we get recognized. Yeah, they gonna try as long as they can. <laughs> Plus, we had um, a lot of guys that uh, turned him down. And uh, the last time we fought, and I asked Gordon, I said, uh, Gordon, I heard five people turn on. Um, my son down. He said no. It was fifteen. So. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> when you said fighters turned down, fighters within the top ten. Oh, well, I, well, uh, top ten, top fifteen. Well, uh, he just, They'd be undefeated guys. He said, he said they turned it down. All these guys that y'all think. Yeah, this, this, all the guys y'all think that's hot right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, then you have guys that say they are fighting, yeah. but they wanted so much money to fight them, so they, they overprice themselves. So. Which is the thing about that. So I, that's what I said. I said, you know, either they're gonna fight him or they're not gonna fight him. And then one one guy, and it was, it was a top guy, said he won 1.5 million to fight him. So <laughs> what, what, what do you think about that? Could you give us a name? <laughs> nah, I, I don't want to put him on black. <laughs> but a lot of people know who he is. <laughs> it's, uh, speaking of Gordon, um, Maurice Jones, Boxing Live, you had a promotional dispute. Is that cleared up? No, that's something that we can't talk about right now. We it's still, you know, pending. Terrence Crawford was in the audience. Uh, was there any pressure on looking good in front of Terrence or? No, I wasn't worried about who was in the crowd. 
I go out, I focus on who in front of me, and I go out there and do my thing and put on a show. I, I want to entertain the, the fans, my family, and uh, the whole world. It shows my, the, the world my talent. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, most definitely. Yeah, I was talking to him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's my boy. We uh later on we gonna get some two K in. <laughs> 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 hey. Any other questions? Uh, Derek, Jim Gray asked uh, your son in the ring if there was anything that he wanted to work on, felt he wanted to work on, but he deferred to you. Anything you could share with us that's uh, improvements you need to go back into the work on? No, I don't see nothing that he really had to work on. You know, I mean, just bringing his hands up there once in a while. But when he do get hit, if you watch, when he get hit, he rolls with the shots. So uh, he don't get hit with uh, no power power shots and nothing like that. And he always says every time he fight, he said, uh, I asked him, you know, can this guy punch? Oh, no, he can't punch. I said, yes, he can. He can punch. The dude's 14 and 1 with 12 knockouts. He can punch. I said, well, you just didn't feel none of the punches because you're taking the power away. Right? Right. When you move your head and move your upper body, he's not taking the, the full, you know, punching power. Right. Yeah, that's the only thing, you know what I mean? It's, it's his, what it is with him, it's difficult to hit him. Right. He can fight inside, he can fight outside. That's what he's taught. See, a lot of guys think, you know, he going to run, he going to box and move. We ain't got to box and move. We fight inside and outside. Whatever you want to do, we can do. As y'all can see, I started standing there with him and pushing him back. He couldn't fight me backwards. And that's what he wanted to do. Did it surprise you that he he hung around after the two knockdowns in the first and second, third? He kind of he kind of he, he almost seemed to felt a little more confidence. He started to throw a little bit more as it went on. Did that surprise you? I mean, no, it didn't surprise me. He he a pressure fighter, so that's just what you expect out of pressure fighters. <clears throat> and only thing I didn't like by myself, I just feel like I needed to be a little bit more calmer. After I got them two knockdowns, I feel like not excited. I just was too, like, I'm gonna get him out of here. But once after the second round, I got back to the corner. They, they calmed me down. I, I started getting calm and relaxed and started doing my thing. So that that that's what made me. That's why I was so relaxed on the inside. Even though he was throwing, I wasn't worried. I ain't see me jitter, jitter, move around, jump up and down, none of that stuff. I was just standing right there in the pocket, catching, rolling. And come right back and break him down mentally and physically. Hey, I don't think he knew I was that strong. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew it was gonna be f before uh, six rounds. He wasn't. He wasn't take that type of damage. Yeah, I, I knew for the whole ten rounds, and the commission wasn't gonna let that happen. I I knew I was just gonna be too strong for him. He he probably thought he was gonna be coming here and try to bully me and push me around and head on me and do all this extra stuff, but. <laughs> I'm stronger than I look. <laughs> All right. Any other questions? Thanks again, guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you.